When it comes to icons for RenPy projects, the struggle is real. If you've been struggling with making your own RenPy icons, I feel you. I really do. But the good news is I've found some ways to create our icons, so let's check my method out. First, you will need the following software. A Sprite. You probably know this program because it's a very famous sprite editor. It's not a free program, but it's really worth its money, and we're going to use it in this process of creating the icon files. The second app you will need is Rune ICNS, ICNS Maker. This program is needed to create icon files for the Mac. Sadly, this app is not free, but it's really worth its money because it makes the process to make the ICNS files really simple. The third app you'll need is some kind of image editor. You can use any image editor. I'm using Affinity Photo, but you could also use GIMP. We're only using this program to crop the files and to create PNG files. You can use any image for your icon in your game. You can either draw it yourself or you can use an image from the internet. And when you have your icon image and these apps, we're going to resize them into three different sizes. And here we have my free files for my current RenPy project. First we have the Mac icon. And this icon will be used for both Mac and if you want to do it on iPhone or iPad. And this file is 1024 times 1024 pixels. And then we have the icon for the Windows taskbar. It's 256 times 256 pixels. And then we have the general Windows icon, which is 250 times 250 pixels. Okay, how can we implement these files? And the easiest one is actually the general Windows icon. If we open the Rampy Launcher and click on the GUI link, it will take us to the GUI folder where we have all our graphical user interface files. And here you will find a file called window underscore icon.png. To create this general window icon, all we have to do is replace this file with our file. So I'll rename my file to window underscore icon. And then I can drag it into the folder. And it asks me to replace it, and I will replace it. We go to the RenPy launcher, and we click on build distributions to build the game. And we're just gonna build it for Mac, so it will be quicker, and we'll build it. As you can see, bad news, we don't see our icon, we see Eileen, but I will tell you about how to solve this in a moment. So, we'll open it, and you can see the icon down here. Goes to the serial killer. So, the general window icon now works, and that was pretty simple. We just renamed our file, and we dragged and dropped it here, and the file is called window icon 250 times 250 pixels. Okay, so let's create our Mac icons next. For this, we need the app Rune ICNS, and this will create a special Mac file called ECNS. And this ECN file basically contains all our Mac icons, both for Mac, iPhone, and iPad. And it's really simple. You just drag and drop your icon file, and it should be 1024 times 1024 into Rune ICNS. And first we have our Mac icon, and then we just click and drag this icon to the smaller size, to the smaller size, to the smaller size, to the smaller size. Yeah, really satisfying. And then we just click the share export button up here, and we will call this ghost icons. And save it on the desktop. And here we now have an ECNS file. We return to the RenPy launcher and we click on the base folder. I want to copy our ICNS file directly into the base folder of the game. Not the game folder, the base folder. And let's create a new build distribution for the Mac. And let's open it up. And as you can see, we don't see the icon here just yet. We still see Eileen. And the way that I saw this was to right click this file clicked show info and here in the file inspector we just drag and drop our icns file onto the icon up here in the corner and now as you can see the icon has now changed if i exit this you can see the icon here and this icon will now show up if you zip this file and then upload it to itch.io and when the user downloads the game it will see this icon and when they open the game they will also see this icon down here and finally, we'll create the icon for the Windows taskbar. I will right click on this file that is 256 times 256 pixels, and I will open it with a sprite. And in a sprite, we will just click File, and then Export, and click the three dots, 
and then in the file type selector we will select ICO files and then we just click OK to export. Back in our Rempy launcher we click on the base folder and then we just drag and drop our ICO file in here. And now when you share your game via itch.io or Steam, Windows users will see an icon in the taskbar. So, that's it for this tutorial. We have created icons for Mac, iPad and iPhone. We have created icons for the game <laughs> in general. And we've created icons for the Windows taskbar. Before you leave, I just want to make a narcissistic shout out for myself about my newly finished game, The Murder of Robert Craig. The Murder of Robert Craig is created in Rempi and it's a whodunit story about the murder uh, of Robert Craig. Yeah, I would be really happy if you would like to check it out and do comment if you do because I need all the feedback I can get on this game. Anyway, thank you for your time. I hope you learned something and if you want to talk to me you can reach me in the comments below this video and I hope to see you soon in another video. Bye.